Progress Floor is a cool place, man. It's a cool place. If you like freaks, there's a lot of them there. This, the church I got saved in has become one of the largest churches in America. And they have, uh, some of you know this. How many people came to my last show and know about the churches in Pensacola? Can you raise your hand right now? You three know, obviously. You've heard it a thousand times. And you know, and you look sad that I'm telling the story again. Do you want me to not tell it? Do you want me to tell it? Okay. All right. The, the, the church is there. They're, you know, it's not like English churches. People jump up and down and scream and holler and fall over in their underwear shows. and It's, it's different. And, and, and the church I got saved in went from being a little teeny tiny church about the size of the stage to being a mega church. And when it got to mega church status, they were having all this, they called it the Brownsville phenomenon. People from all over the world would come and 2,000 people a night would come to that church and they would just go completely fucking crazy. They would go crazy. They would all just scream and holler and shout and cry and let out emotions and some of it was probably positive, probably about 3% of it. Um, it was a weird place, you know, at one point a man showed up with his dead daughter and he wanted her to be healed. And let me tell you something, that's true, that happened. And uh, it didn't work. It just didn't work. Um, but, so, so crazy people were showing up all the time. Crazy, crazy, crazy people. And this crazy Jesus guy showed up. And he was dragging his cross along. You know, he had the, the, the crown of thorns and he had the, 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 the white robe that looks like he could urinate in it without uh, moving anything. Um, he had everything, you know. And, and he was really cool, you know. Like he was very dedicated to his Jesus thing. And he would drag that cross all over town. And then you could hear him coming and it would go like this. <sighs> They didn't have asphalt in biblical times. And you, someone who was unfamiliar with the sound would say, what's that noise? And you'd say, that's just Jesus around the corner. So he'd show up wherever you were, and he started getting pressed, you know, because he was, he, was, he was sincere. And sincerity gets you pressed. I don't know if you know that or not. And, of course, that spawned the copycat Jesuses. People from all over America started coming to Pensacola like, like the Elvis impersonators go to Memphis. The Jesus impersonators came to our town. And, and it was fine until the, the one guy showed up, the Jesus impersonator showed up, and he had a little wheel on his cross. Because he wasn't going to drag that thing all over town. And that created a great division in the church. Heresy. Heresy. You'll burn in hell for that. And he, all he was saying was, if I have the wheel, many, many, many more people see Jesus. Because I can cover twice as much distance as you draggers do. <laughs> so the church started getting divided up into the, the, the draggers and the rollers, the progressives and the traditionalists. And, and it looked like oh, everything was going to go to hell in a handbasket um, until a guy showed up and just completely, and this is, this is what visionaries do, this guy, he was not going to carry his cross anywhere. He put it on the back of his motorhome. He mounted it back there, and he would just drive where he was going. He, we call him the lazy Jesus. <laughs> He would just drive where he was going and just lean against the cross, you know? He was not real hard working. Obviously not like a Protestant work ethic kind of Jesus. Anyway, so it was great, you know, having this great variety of Jesuses in your town. But the, the Jesus in the motorhome created problems because he was a terrible driver. He was just no good. And if you get behind him, it would be really bad because he had a big motorhome and the cross was bearing down on you. And the condemnation of the spirit because I knew I'm a heretic. I'm burning in hell. And there's that cross. And, and it got real bad. I was behind him one day and I was mad at him and he was driving slow and I was muttering under my breath, what's the fuck Jesus doing up there today? What's he doing? Anyway, and that gave me the idea for this song here. It's called, If Jesus Drove a Motorhome.
Jesus drove a motor home, motor home, motor home, motor home. Jesus drove a motor home, motor home, a motor home. Motor home. Jesus drove 